I am the one who originated the Budget Act. With the support of the committee that I was chairing at the time, the National Economic Committee. Former Minister of State for Finance in charge of planning, Honorable Isaac Isanga Musumba recounted the rationale behind enacting the Budget Act of 2001. The government would prepare the budget, budget speech would be unveiled that day. Nobody had an idea of what uh, the government would say. Similarly, the appropriation bill would also be availed when there is only one day to the closure of, of government spending. So, the parliament was, uh, as it were, uh, forced to quickly react and pass uh, the appropriation bill because the argument was, if you don't pass it today, tomorrow the government will shut down. Its purpose was to ensure parliament could thoroughly scrutinize national budgets before their submission to the head of state. The act aimed to establish and regulate a systematic and efficient budgetary process, among other connected matters. However, the law's efficacy waned between 2011 and 2016, with some of its provisions merged into the Public Finance Management Act. First of all, under the current laws that the, the and procedures of Parliament, a bill can be sent back if uh, the Parliament refuses to listen to what the president wants, the bill will go back to the president and the president will send it back and if they still don't listen to what the president wants, the bill will become law. Honorable Musumba pointed out that the current situation where the president has returned the budget to parliament reflects the absence of the Budget Act, which previously delineated clear roles and responsibilities for each branch of government. Two things. This is a small matter. It, the, the government will overcome it. The parliament is going to sit and uh, do what the president wants. But looking further afield, it is apparent that we need to revisit this relationship. And we need a law. Despite the delay in passing the national budget, the government is expected to fulfill its obligations the public eagerly anticipates the outcome of the parliamentary session on July 2nd, 2024. Wadulo 